Hey guys, my name is Sophia, and today I'm going to be taking you through the process of importing from Trello into ClickUp. So this is actually a really simple process, and it should only take a few minutes of your time. The first thing that I recommend doing before you start the import process is to create a space within ClickUp to house all of your Trello boards. So I'm going to come up here to my Spaces bar and just click on Create Space. And I'll just quickly create a ClickUp space to house all of my Trello items. You can come back to your space settings later on to play around with all of these settings. But for now, I'm just going to create a basic structure to get the process going. So once I've created a project and list, I'm now ready to start the import process. So I'm just going to click on my profile avatar and navigate to the import export settings page. And from there, I'm going to click on Trello and opt to import my tasks. After this, I'm just going to need to, need to allow Trello to uh, allow ClickUp to access my Trello account. And once I've authorized that, I can start the actual steps to import my tasks. So step one is going to show you all of your Trello boards that you're going to import on the left side here. And if you click on these, you're actually also going to be seeing the columns that you set up for these boards in Trello. On the right hand side, you're going to see how you're going to import all of these boards into ClickUp. So you have a few different options here. If I click on this drop down, I have the option to just not import this project at all into ClickUp. I can import the columns as statuses or import them as lists. So basically, if you're using your columns in Trello to define your workflow, like I am here, I have um, an urgent status, I have a review status. Um, if I'm using this to organize my workflow, I'm going to want to use the import columns as statuses option. If I was using my columns as basically anything else, like you can see here in my personal items board, um, if I'm not using it to organize my workflow, I can actually import those columns as lists. So for my next week board, I'm actually going to opt for the statuses option. Then from here, I can either import all of I can import this board into an existing space, or I can import it into a new ClickUp space. I'm going to go with the existing space that we've already created because it's going to make things much easier to organize once the import is actually complete. So from there, I just have, need to select the space that I'm going to import into, which is my Trello import. My next option is going to be for my personal items, and I'm actually going to import these as ClickUp lists. And now I'm just going to select the same Trello import space that we've that we've created. And then for the this week board, I'm also going to import those as statuses. Your next step is going to be to import users from Trello into ClickUp. And you're going to see again all of your Trello users here on the left. And then on the right, you have a few different options for bringing these over into ClickUp. So if you've already added this user to your ClickUp team, you're going to actually be able to select that user from ClickUp. And then that user's assignee information, um, task activity, is automatically going to be mapped to that ClickUp user. You can also issue an invitation to this user to join your ClickUp team here by selecting this option. Or you can choose not to import the user at all. But keep in mind that if you take the not import option, the user's data will still be imported, but they won't have their assignee data mapped over into ClickUp. So I'm going to say I'm not going to import this user, and then I can issue an invitation to this one. Pretty simple. Now we're moving on to step three. So your first section is, do you want to include archived cards? So this is, you know, basically going to be converted into a closed task in ClickUp. I do recommend carrying over all of your archived cards because it's always a good idea to have everything from Trello within ClickUp. And then you can always choose to reassign statuses or just delete the cards altogether if you'd prefer. Lastly, you need to decide if you want to import your attachments from Trello. 
Um, ordinarily, you might think that, yes, of course I want to import all of my attachments, but do keep in mind that if you're on the free plan and you're worried about exceeding your 100 megabyte storage limit, you may not want to import those attachments. Once we click import, you're going to get a little yellow bar at the top here notifying you that the import is in progress. If you click this little purple button here, you'll also be able to watch your import in progress as it's going. So it looks like our import is completed now. And now that our tasks are moved into ClickUp, I'll just show you how you can start to quickly rearrange items now that they've been imported. So sometimes it takes a little refresh of the page to see everything show up. And now you can see within our Trello import space, we now have three new projects from our Trello boards imported into ClickUp. So you can see my next week board, which was actually imported as lists, uh, excuse me, as statuses, now have all of these items carried over with new custom statuses. For my other columns that weren't really being used as statuses in Trello, I now have ClickUp lists. And down here, we've also have, we also have custom statuses moved into ClickUp. If you want to move things around, it's really easy to do. You can actually um, drag and drop items to move them around. You can relocate lists to new projects if you want. Um, you can also click on the ellipses next to one of your imported projects or lists, and you can actually move it to a new location in your ClickUp team if you want. The last thing I want to mention is the multitask toolbar. And this is the perfect way to make quick changes to your tasks in bulk. So if I hover over one of my lists in list view and click on the dot here, you're going to see that all of my tasks in this list are selected. And I can actually set watchers, set assignees, change the status of the task, um, move it to a new location, all of these different actions are available to you with the multitask toolbar. So it's a really handy trick to be aware of once you've finally completed your import. So that's the basics of the import process from Trello. I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out at help at